A sip of comfort. Exploring the phrase, a comforting drink. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the beautiful world of the English language and unlock its secrets together. Today, we're going to explore a phrase that's as warm and inviting as the feeling it describes. A comforting drink. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English, understanding these phrases enriches your language skills and cultural comprehension. So, let's get cozy and delve into what makes a drink not just any drink, but a comforting one. At first glance, a comforting drink might seem self-explanatory. It's a beverage that offers comfort, but there's more to it than just that. In English, when we describe something as comforting, we're talking about a sense of warmth, solace, or relief it provides, often emotionally. It's not just about quenching thirst or the physical qualities of the drink, but how it makes you feel. This phrase can evoke feelings of being cared for, nostalgia, or a sense of peace and relaxation. It's the emotional equivalent of a warm blanket on a chilly evening. So, what qualifies as a comforting drink? It can vary greatly from person to person, culture to culture. However, there are a few common examples. Hot tea, often associated with relaxation and healing, especially with certain herbs like chamomile. Coffee, for many, the ritual of brewing and sipping coffee provides a comforting routine or break in the day. Hot chocolate, this is almost universally seen as a comforting beverage, rich and warm, often reminding people of childhood. Soup. While not typically categorized under drinks, a warm broth or soup can also be considered a comforting drink, offering both warmth and nourishment. The idea of a comforting drink extends beyond the beverage itself. It's deeply rooted in cultural practices and traditions. In many cultures, offering a drink to a guest is a sign of hospitality and care. The type of drink offered as comfort can vary widely around the world, reflecting local tastes, climate, and traditions. For example, in Japan, green tea might be a comforting staple, while in India, a spiced tea like chai serves a similar purpose. This aspect of the phrase highlights how comfort can be both universal and uniquely personal. Understanding how to use this phrase can add depth to your conversations in English. Here are a few examples. Expressing empathy, you seem stressed, can I make you a comforting drink? Sharing experiences, on cold nights, a comforting drink like hot cocoa always makes me feel better. Offering hospitality, welcome, let me get you a comforting drink to warm up. In each case, the phrase conveys not just the offer of a beverage but an intention to soothe, comfort, and welcome. We hope this exploration of a comforting drink has warmed your heart and perhaps even inspired you to reach for your own cup of comfort. Understanding these nuanced phrases not only builds your language skills but also deepens your cultural awareness and empathy. Remember, Language is not just about words, it's about the feelings and connections they foster. Thank you for joining us today. Keep learning, stay curious, and until next time, may all your drinks be comforting.